Okay, morning Cowboys fans, it's your boy Foots here. Um, just want to tell everybody, man, thank you, thank you guys. I forgot to do that on my last video because I was so upset. Um, and I just wanted to make a, a topic to, to nonetheless on that last video, just really to get the conversation going. That's what we got to do as Cowboys fans. We just have to have conversations. That's what we're trying to do. And this video is titled, you know, we have to respect the Eagles as an organization. And I think as fans, we would be fooling ourselves if we didn't. Now, the it's cool to we hate the Eagles, this, that, and the third. And I do. Their fans are pathetic. I don't know if you guys saw the thing yesterday where they were throwing beer cans at the, at the Vikings fans who were just there to watch the game. Come on, that's terrible. That's trash. But the organization has made some moves and it hurts me as a Cowboys fan because the last time I had even seen a Cowboys team well 2016 was a magical year don't want to take anything from that but before that you had 2014 was okay you had 2009 um the playing game you actually beat Philly then you win a game and then you lose but I just wonder will I see my team in a conference championship where well, I see my team make it to the promised land. Um, and the reason why I say we have to respect the Eagles as an organization because you got to be flat out, man. They lost their best player. The Philadelphia Eagles lost their best player. The Dallas Cowboys lost their best player. Two different results. Um, what they did, what they have done on both Lines offensively, defensively, is nothing short of amazing. Um, even bringing in Timmy Jernigan, the right free agent. You think about Fletcher Cox. You think about Brandon Graham. They lose one of their linebackers this year. Nigel Bradham steps in, plays great. The Eagles organization has figured it out. I think the Cowboys have gotten too caught up in flash and too caught up in in, 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 a, in a certain way to win and, 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 and not really understanding the importance of doing things the right way. Now, Philly could fall off the, the face of the earth in the Super Bowl. I actually think the Eagles have a good chance to win this game. Um, if nothing else, because of the D-line that I just said. But the, like I said, the Eagles could fall off the face of the earth. But the fact remains, from I would say early 2000s to now, the Eagles have been as an organization. Now, they haven't won a Super Bowl. That's obviously the, the monkey in the room. But, you know, that's kind of a lazy argument. They've been, I wouldn't say a better franchise, but they've been more relevant when it comes to winning bigger games and being, you know, in the playoffs. For a while there, the Eagles kind of ran the NFC East, let's be real. And you even think about coaching, now I understand, and I've been understood, you know, with Mark Holmes and a couple other guys. I know Shango's whole deal is, and a bunch of other guys, they want Garrett gone. And I mean, listen, they make good points. I'm My thing is, I just don't think that Jerry would do it, but look at Doug Peterson. I hate to do this because he just has something about him that annoys me, but you got to give the guy credit. He simplified the offense and made it Nick Foles friendly on the fly. It didn't take an off season. He did it on the fly. Okay, Nick isn't doing certain things. Okay, let's go back to what he did great because they they don't have enough film on Nick this year. Let's go back to the RPO, the things that he ran with Chip Kelly quick. Um, get the ball out of his hands quick. We have the running game. We have the offensive line, and we have the receivers to do it. Nelson Aguilar stepped up. The team... The Eagles really, they did it, man. Defensively and offensively, they made adjustments. They lost their starting left tackle when they haven't missed a beat. We lost our starting left tackle. We look like a completely new team. So all I'm saying, Cowboys fans, and just like the, the, the Dak Prescott video where I went off, I would have loved for the Cowboys to do different things. Maybe we put him in, in some pistol and some read option things. But I would have loved for Dallas to, to adjust and make the offense more Cowboy, I mean more Dak Prescott friendly. But the fact of the matter is you had Nick Foles who looked terrible and nobody gave them a chance. To the last two games, Atlanta game, 
looked great. They went out and just flat out beat Atlanta. This game, they destroyed a great defense in the Vikings. And I give them a real shot to beat the Patriots. Um, they match up well. Now, the only matchup that is not even comparable is Foles and, 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 and Brady. But if the rest of the team steps up and plays well, the three-headed monster that they have at running back, even the rookie that they got, Clements, I mean, the Eagles have a real shot to beat the Cowboys. And this is an open letter to Jerry Jones. Jerry, you got to remove yourself from football operations, dude. You have to. So we can get the coach. So we can get the organization going the right way, dog. I'm not about headlines anymore. I just want to win. I think Cowboys fans just want to win. That's why all these arguments. That's why we're we're sitting around. One of one of one of my subscribers said, "Yo, um, we're overanalyzing." You're right. We are overanalyzing because we haven't done anything in a while. So anyway, it's your boy Foots. Um, just wanted to give my thoughts on the Eagles win. I gotta give them respect. I'm not gonna be that fan, that that hater. Nah, I'm gonna give them respect. And another thing, um, Cowboys fans, I'm doing a, a, a fundraiser to upgrade the channel, get some better lights. Um, I'm not going as hard as Mark Holmes. He's really that's my that dude is the inspiration. But I'm I want to get some better lighting in the room, a new camera, and I want to start going live with you all. So I set a goal of a thousand dollars. Um, obviously, if I can't hit that goal, his cameras and, and all these this tech stuff, it costs a lot of money. So anything that you guys can do to help donate so I can, you know, continue to, to grow the content and, and make some things happen, that would be great. Um, anyway, it's your boy, Fusta Kings. Just my thoughts on this game yesterday. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, subscribe, and just the organization as a whole. Salute to you, Philly.